All right, y'all. So uh, welcome back to TSP. I'm Dr. Evil. And I'm Katza Paul. All right. So, uh, you know, I'm always on social media looking for content because, you know, hey, got to get that YouTube money, right? Yeah. Oh, pfft, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's just what it is. Right. So I'm, I'm always scouting uh, for content to see what we can bring to the masses. Um, and uh, I came across this particular uh, video that is um, on TikTok, but I came across it on Twitter because you will not catch me uh, dead downloading a TikTok app. I don't give a fuck. Don't, I don't care. Oh, that's where all the people are. Mm -hmm. I, 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 my dignity will not allow me to download the app. But I found the clip that was circulating on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I found it to be very interesting. Now, we hear a lot about the independent woman. Do we not, Captain Paul? Yeah, quite a bit. It's uh, definitely something that is shared on social media and kind of encouraged by a lot of uh, influencers. But yeah, we do hear quite a bit about it. And how, mu how much do these, uh, these independent women, how much do they say that they need a man on a scale of zero to 100? Uh, zero. They don't need no man. Right. They don't need no man. Right. Strong, independent, don't need no man. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's a lot of people out there telling on themselves. And I want you guys, when you see this clip, I want you to understand a couple of things here. Number one, the people, really the independent women that are out there calling you guys bums, mm -hmm. they're projecting what they are, what they themselves actually are. They're bums. OK, these chicks are fucking broke. Let's just call it what it is. Right. All right. And they want to shame you into not spending your hard earned money on them because they don't make enough where they can actually spend it on themselves. And don't get it twisted. They'll lie to you and tell you that women are doing so great. But if you look at every metric. Men are outpacing women in earnings because men work harder. They work more dangerous jobs. The, the whole wage gap myth is just that a myth. But you know how you know it's a myth, Captain Paul? Mm. Because you have women like this. Okay? Do you have women like this? She's not an ugly woman. Okay? Not the best looking woman. I'd probably give her... What would you rate her on a scale of 1 to 10, Cap? A 7? Wow, that's pretty high. I give her a 5.75. Average, higher end of average. Well, the good thing is I can't be accused of, you know, racism, so. But. Well, hey, some people might look at it and say, well, you're trying to guard against coming off like a racist, so you get the <laughs> higher number that you don't believe. You see how nah. people can, can, can kind of... Nah, that's true. Uh, that's true. You know, I was kind of, I was kind of, I was kind of fucking around there, but I mean, yeah, I think it's seven. I mean, maybe yeah. a six point five. Yeah. So we're not too far away. I have her as a, yeah. a five point seven five. Um, uh, personally. Hungry, uh, but um, um, you know, before we get into this, I think Twitter really just wants me to play this video a million times. But um, I give her um at the higher end of average. Okay, she's not overweight, mm. um, but she doesn't like have a body to die for. Uh -huh. um, the filter, I don't know if she's using a filter because, you know, of her phone, but it doesn't look like her skin is messed up. She's not wearing a ton of makeup. Um, I'm not a fan of the extensions. You know how I feel about fake hair. But if you look at her facial features, she's got decent facial features. She's at the high end of average, in my opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we're having this conversation, like the high end of average. And I want you guys to understand exactly why we're, we're invoking the rating system here, because mm. I want you guys to listen very fucking closely to what she has to say. I'm going to play it all the way through and then we're going to bring it back and we're going to go through certain parts and, and analyze it. All right. Tutorial and asking you shall receive. I woke up super hungry, wanted to go to brunch. No one was able to go with me, so I went by myself. Before I left, I looked in the mirror and affirmed to myself that I will not be paying for shit. I went to this really nice restaurant called Il Molino. I mainly picked it because it's in one of Drake's songs. 
When I got there, I was like, oops, never mind, because it was a very family-friendly restaurant. All of the tables were filled with families and kids, and the bar was empty. The bar is the best place to meet and mingle with other people, especially men, if you're looking for someone to pay for your bill and to potentially go on a date. So I order a glass of wine. I'm thinking, okay, I might just have a nice brunch by myself. As you can see from this clip, that's my target right there facing the other way. I hadn't even noticed him until his waiter came and started talking to him for like 10 minutes. I'm like, what the f is this? Once I see that, I'm like, oh snap, he's alone? Wow, there's actually someone that's alone here? The waiter is basically his friend. So when his friend leaves, he starts talking to me and the drinks get pouring. His waiter friend basically makes these types of liqueurs and they gave me a tasting. He wanted me to pick my favorite, which was the coconut one. Anyway, he's a regular there. They call him the doctor. Everyone loves him. And he was fun to talk to. Okay. Oh, oh man. That's, uh, that was kind of cringe. I'm not going to lie. Some of that was really, really, really cringe. All right. So let's break this down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so stupid. Go ahead. Number one. Number one. And I hope Ooh. you guys can see right here. Right? Tutorial, please. Let, this lets you know that there was another video before this where she is talking about bumming free meals off of people that actually work hard and are, and are moving society forward. OK, there's another woman here. Her name, I guess, is Kimmy Hendrix, right? Mm -hmm. She wants a tutorial on how to be a bum. How to be a bum ass bum. OK, so. We're going to talk about how she manifests. She, she's going to teach this bum is going to is going to give a tutorial to this other bum on right. how to be a bum, a successful bum. Someone asked me for a tutorial and asking you shall receive. I woke up super hungry, wanted to go to brunch. No one was able to go with me, so I went by myself. Why do you think nobody was able to go with her, Captain Paul? Could it be that uh, some of her friends are married and have families? And uh, actually have things to do other than be bums. Yeah. And also uh, this type of behavior is probably known by even people that don't have uh, a significant other. So it's like, yeah, I'm not going to be used as a meal ticket. Sorry. I mean, that's Before I left, I looked in the mirror and affirmed to myself that I will not be paying for shit. Strong, independent female, boys. Let's go. Who the fuck, who the fuck, who the fuck gets up? To myself that I will not. Who the fuck gets up in the morning and says, I'm going to go bum food off of somebody. Hmm. Who does that? Uh, usually homeless people. I'm <laughs> for shit. I went to this really nice restaurant called Il Molino. I mainly picked it because it's in one of Drake's songs. Well, you know, like, you know, those basic girl like videos, man, this is it's just kind of I'm getting like I, my cancer's coming back. Um, I think I'm like, this is awful. This is just so this is so mindlessly stupid. She picked a restaurant because it was a, a Drake lyric. I mean, when I, got I, there, I was like, oops, never mind, because it was a very family friendly restaurant. I'll well, let, let, let's, <laughs> this is when I lost hope. <laughs> when I saw wives who are actually wives with their husband and their children, when I actually saw families, I was like, mm. holy shit. I'm in the wrong place. I'm a fish out of water. I don't belong here. Mm. And why don't I belong here? Because nobody has picked me to be a wife. Because yeah. I'm not wife material. And do you know how men know that she's not wife material, Captain Paul? You tell me there, evil. Because she's a fucking bum. Yeah. The tables were filled with families and kids, and the bar was empty. The bar is the... The bar is empty on a brunch Sunday. Yeah, that, that's another thing. I just thought of that too. Like, you know, like unless you're going to a direct bar where you might have some alcoholics, I mean, who's really hitting the bar like that on a brunch time? 
I mean, like on a Sunday. That's weird. But yeah, that that's a really poor timing. Like a Friday, Saturday night, that would make sense. But mm -hmm. on a Sunday, I'm like. But the that, thing that, is, even bums get hungry on Sunday, Captain Paul. <laughs> Yeah, definitely some bum energy meet and mingle with other people especially men if you're looking for someone to pay for your bill boom right there folks see she doesn't get up on a sunday morning and think how can i help the world be a better place what mm. can i do to leave my mark in the world so that when I go, the world was a better place than when I left it. No! Mm. This modern, independent woman is out looking to bum free meals off of the men she say she don't need. Mm -hmm. And to potentially go on a date. So I order a glass of wine. I'm thinking, okay, I might just have a nice brunch by myself. As you can see from this clip, that's my target right there facing the... I'm, I'm gonna play that for you one more time, y'all. So, as you can see from this clip, that's my target right there. That's my target right there. That's some hitman type stuff, man. That's he a good is video not game. A human being, no, Captain no. Paul. That man is not a human being to her. No, of course not. It's a meal ticket, bro. Uh, it's, a, it's a meal ticket. That's all that is. I mean, but is this really anything that I, I, we don't know goes on? You know what I mean? Like, we both know this goes on. We both know that there's particular people, uh, particular women that do this. They'll, you know, go out to eat, you know, target a single dude, essentially get their drinks or their food paid for, and then just bounce. Like, you know, a lot of women will do that. It's like they'll go on a date with a dude just to get free food and then dip. I mean, this this is something that, we, that we've seen on news cycles for a while seen in like you know interpersonal relationships i've had friends where that's happened to them they'll get on one date with a girl they'll pay for their meal and they'll bounce and like whatever right whatever but it, at the same point it's like when you do that type of behavior don't be surprised when you're 40 years old and have 10 cats why you're lonely like it's just like it's not a behavior that a mentally stable and well put together man is going to be attracted to because like when i at least in my opinion, I think you'll agree when I say this. When, because we're both well put together in our careers. When I seek, when I when I sense, I should say, a woman trying to use me as a free male or trying to use me for a greater end, I get completely turned off, and I move it on. So like that type of energy for her, yeah, that's cool, that's cute. She gets a few free meals, few free drinks, but and she thinks she's winning. She thinks that uh, these are the biggest wins of her life. And that's the problem. The, that's the truth. These are going to be the biggest wins of her life. She'll look back at this in years and regret because she realizes all these bridges that she has burned once dudes have realized they that she is just used as meal tickets that will no longer look at her as a viable option as a wife material. And then when she realizes she gets older, gets single, gets lonely, gets cats, um, you know, complains about not having kids, like she'll realize when she becomes f like a failure in the relationship realm that these actions she took when she was younger were foolish. Now, maybe I don't know how she, old she is. Maybe she, if she grows up and, you know, gets more mature, there's a possibility for her to learn and grow from this. But this type of behavior, women, is not going to get you a good husband. It's just going to be like, you know, it's, it's just going to turn off guys that actually have any type of value to give to them. I mean, you might hit it with a desperate dude that's just like looking to get a, like a smidge of crumb of the pussy. But if you're just talking to a well-functioning, well-put-together man, like no one's going to want to stand for that shit. I wouldn't, and I know you wouldn't either. Yeah, and, and you, think, you think about the nature of the internet, and this is where a lot of these modern women are basically chiseling their own tombstones in the relationship market. They are, they are hammering the nail in their own coffins mm. because you're putting this stuff on the internet for everybody to see, right? So mm -hmm. imagine when this, because this is making the rounds around the internet. You've already seen that video has been viewed almost 2 million times. Mm -hmm. Do you think it is out of the realm of possibility that her target would see this and say, oh, wow, that's how you get down. Okay, I'm going to avoid you and every other single chick that I see at the bar because it's, it'll be one thing. We already know it's egregious to go on a date with somebody for the sole purpose of using them for their resources. 
Mm-hmm. This is even worse, Cap. Yeah. She went out. Some guy went to brunch to go have a meal and enjoy himself. Yep. And he's got women openly admitting to predatory behavior. See, it's not about what we're, oh, it's not, what do you say? It's not tricking if you got it. Yeah. It's the principle of the matter. Right. I can go on a date with, with a random chick today. I can go and tell the ladies right now in the other room, hey, I'm going to go out with so-and-so to, to, to have dinner. I'll be home later or I'll be home tomorrow. Mm. Right? I could do that if I want to. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to. Mm. I, I, listen, I mean. Because I'm not going to be played this way, Cap. But I mean, I think we both agree, man. It's like when you have a dude that have like you when you when you're a dude that has self-respect and confidence about himself, he's not going to let himself become a meal ticket. No. I mean, I, 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 that's just it is what it is. Now, some people over the years have paid for, you know, relations. And I get that, you know, you're desperate. That's great. But, you know, dudes that are, have well put together lives, they're not looking to do that. That's that just turns me off. But, you know, I feel sad. In a way, for the young girls that watch that video and think that's a viable way of actual like dating, inter- like how to get a boyfriend, get a husband, it's not. It's but not. They're not You're even just, looking it, for a husband or a boyfriend. They're looking to use people that they don't see as actual human beings. You're a walking wallet. Yeah, I mean, but you're going to see younger girls kind of retain this type of information or such they absorb this information and think this is a viable way of dating and it's not it's it, it it's will not. lead you it will lead you to a, a life of loneliness and sadness and i think you know that's the honest conversation you got to have and as for you know her being um an independent woman you can't be independent if you're literally looking for handouts that is, literal is, handouts yeah like you're, if you're looking for handouts desperate like you know, oh, I'm just looking for someone to, I'm not paying for shit. Like, well, I mean, Jesus, like, have some, I don't know, just, I, I could never work with that type of stuff because it's like, dude, have some self respect. You know what I mean? Right. It, it's just, right. It's you know, pathetic. When my dad was homeless. He never panhandled mm. because he had too much pride. Yes, I don't have a roof over my head. I will never panhandle. And my dad was homeless multiple times over multiple years when i was homeless you know how many times i panhandled zero Mm. i was homeless at age 19 age 20. i was employed by a fortune 500 company at the time that i was homeless Mm. i never asked for no motherfucking handouts because i I have too much pride but we do know that when people set, set up with the wide lie i need a beer sign shout out to jadakus When they set up with that, these guys have no dignity. They have no inner pride. No. They set out to go sit on the street because they said, I'm not going to pay for anything today. Mm. Just like that bum ass woman. What do you guys think in the comment section? Do you think that, you know, this woman is just doing what's, I, I don't know. Do you think that she's she's reasonable? Do you think that what she's doing is acceptable? Do you think that she's a fucking bum the way that I think? Do you think that we brought the cold truth? Or do you think that this was just a bunch of hot takes? Let us know in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.